last night, um, my man is leaving on a trip. And unfortunately, I have this strange MO of it's hard for me to miss you, so I'm going to be a dickhead. So it's easy for us to say goodbye. And I launched into a tirade of projection of my stuff uh, leveled as, you know, it wasn't like a flamethrower, but it was definitely like pinpricks. And to his credit, <laughs> um, he rarely reacts. He might like look at that stuff and take what's useful and leave what's not and kind of gently roll back to me what's mine. And then in a, in a process later, I realized that what I was telling him is exactly my own things. That, you know, my um, fear of not being good enough keeps me from bringing a project to fruition. Because if it never gets done, I've never really failed. But I've also never really dared. So what I want to offer today, and, and you know how I knew? Not only did I feel icky after we parted, um, I knew because there was something in my body that felt out of integrity. Like I just felt, I felt it. I felt, I felt it bodily. And so when I get a reaction like that, I know to pay attention. And, you know, initially it was like all this self-righteous, um, defense, right? Like, no, nah, that's it. You know, but no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Those weren't my feet. They were my feelings, but they were my feelings about me, not about him. So what I offer you today is to pay attention when your body feels icky, when your body feels like not right, because it's telling you something. It is telling you something. It is telling you that something is out of alignment. So either in conversation or in alignment with yourself, the truth you're, or the lack of truth you're telling yourself, there's something, there's a disconnect. There's a disconnect. And once you reach, you go back to that place, face it, and get back in alignment, it's like, oh, like my body physically relaxed. You know, and I and I wrote to him my appreciation that he can hear those things and not trigger back. Right. Like, I mean, most people that had these things hurled at them would react like, fuck you. And he didn't. He knows enough to be like, hmm. I see that you're very animated, you know, like, but it's not like he doesn't take me seriously either. It's just. I know enough that when I'm in that state, it's usually not about my relationship. It's usually about something deeper underneath that. And almost always that finger is pointing here. So in your conflict, in your collisions with your partner, two things, right? So you're going to pay attention to the tension in your body as a sign that things are out of alignment. And then the second thing is when you are in collision, Listen to your language. Is it defensive? Are you telling a story? Is it about you and not them? You know, like, are you... And it was hard for me to say goodbye. So what I do, I pushed him away a little bit. You know, where I made him step back a little bit. Because I didn't want to say goodbye. So in with a little bit of space, I could see all those things very clearly. And offer myself grace. Smile at myself. Give myself a lot of compassion and but face the truth face the truth and tell him that i realize and i appreciate his grace in my temper tantrum so and not trying to belittle my feelings either they i did feel them but the root of those feelings had nothing to do with him they have to do with me so a lot of things to look at today bodily alignment what language are you using in collision and is it yours or is it the, the union, you know, and then appreciation and being able to get back to a place of, of loving yourself with compassion, patting yourself on the back and being like, I see you fucking trying. So that is what I offer you today and I will see you tomorrow.